In this video, we're going to have a look at creating a custom mobile menu. So in a previous video, we had a look at putting the navigation bar at the bottom of the page in a fixed position. And to have a look at that in mobile, we'll quickly head over to the mobile view. And what you'll notice is that the navigation bar takes up too much space. So the bar in this format is not going to work for mobile. And we need to create our own custom layout that will fit at the footer of the screen and make it easier for the user to get to the relevant section. So to do that, what we're going to do is head over to Oxygen and make some changes. So head over to the admin area, head over to templates. And what we're going to do is head over to main and we'll edit the main with oxygen and then we'll create our own custom mobile menu. Oxygen loaded, let's have a look at this in the uh, mobile size. So we'll select the header, we'll then navigate on the left to less than 768 and there we'll see that the um, header is just too big for the amount of space you have on a mobile device. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide this header bar so we'll select the header bar, we'll head over to Advanced, Layout, Display, and None. So this header bar won't display on anything less than 768. And then what we're going to do is add a new section. And in that section, we're going to create a series of divs. So in this case, we'll add five. Three, four, five. And then what we'll do is just make sure that those divs inside that section um, are stacked horizontally so they fit across so there we have the divs and then what we need to do in that section is reduce the size and spacing around our divs so what we'll do is we'll go in and make it north all the way around so that our divs fit snugly inside so with that in place what we're going to do now is save that and we don't want this to display on anything um, above the screen size so to do that, let's just head back to layout. Um, we have it on display on flex. And then if we go and look at all devices, we're going to go to uh, layout. We're already in layout, display, and none. So now when we reduce the size of our screen, we will see our layout at the bottom. And now we need to fix it in that position. Scroll down, we head over to position, and we select fixed. And when we select fixed, we need to select where. So left zero, bottom zero, and right zero. So there we have our layout now fixed. And we need to just give that a background color. So we can do that here. And let's make that white. And there we have our navigation bar at the bottom of the page. So now we, what we can do is we can start creating the content for that navigation bar. So maybe the first item on the left you would like to insert an icon. So let's head over to icon. And if that's going to be the home page, then let's see if we can get a picture of a house or something similar. There we go. Home. So we'll start off with home. And what we also notice immediately is that the icon isn't in the middle of the block of the div. So let's just get our divs correctly spaced. So we have five divs. So let's give each of those then a width of 20%. And at the same time is what we're going to do is just make sure that they are vertically aligned in the middle. And in that section, we're going to stretch them so they're all the same height. So we'll head back and we'll center each one. So we're going to center horizontally and align vertically. And we'll move on to the next block and do the same. So center and middle, center and middle. Could also assign a class to do the same. And then center and middle. And then just to change the width, 20%. Once again, you could use a class. Oh, 
Right, so now we have our evenly placed items across the bottom of our screen and let's just add a few more icons. So we have the home icon. Um, maybe the next one we want to do would be something um, along the lines of products. So let's head over to our icons again. Let's add a new icon here. And for products, um, it depends on what we're selling, but if uh, let's just find uh, something that looks like product. So if we were selling cups, there we have our cups icon and let's have a, have a look now at creating a new icon. Let's say we want customers to call us to make contact. So let's add a phone icon. And in, in the next one, let's add a mail icon. And uh, envelope for mail. Something like that. And the very last one, what we're going to do is we're going to create a menu. So let's just go and get the hamburger menu icon and that's not going to work. So let's just look at menu. That's not going to work. So let's just go and have a look quickly for that icon. We can use that icon. So let's say that that's going to be our icon menu. So there we have our divs across the bottom of the screen. And just make sure that each one is 20% in width and then centered and vertically aligned in the middle. And now we can see that we will need to give a little bit of space around each icon. So let's go over to size and spacing and let's just give each icon five pixels for some spacing. Right, so there we have our various icons and neatly positioned in our view. Right, now what we can do is save and let's just have a look at that on the front end. So we refresh the page and then we'll just look at the mobile view. So there you can see we have our icons and they're looking rather large for the screen. So let's just reduce the size there a bit. maybe 50 right so if we now save that and have a look on the website see that they're a little bit smaller and if we want to, we can see some of them look a little bit bigger than others. So maybe what we're going to do is reduce the size of that one to 40. And the menu bar will also reduce that one slightly smaller. Right, now we're ready to put some links to our divs. So the first one, what we might want to do there is link that to the home page. So head over to the link and just insert a forward slash, add the link. And that will link to the home page. We can, for example, now when it comes to our products, link to our products page. So let's head back to the website and we'll copy that link address. So 
So there we have our products. And then for the contact, what we really want to do is make the phone call. So for that link, we will simply put in tell, and then the, the number, whatever your number might be. And for email, we're going to link that to the contact us page. So we can do a quick search here for contact. That'll link to the contact page. And then here we're going to create our own menu. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to insert um, a modal. So under helpers, let's go to modal. And the modal will now come in um, to add to that mobile experience menu. So let's save that first. And if we now head over to our website and we look at that in the mobile view, you'll see that we have our icons at the bottom. I can click on home page. I can click on products. It'll update to products. If I want to make a phone call, you'll see that it does initiate the call option. And then we have the menu, which we still need to do. And there's still a little bit of a funny effect here because we need to sort out the modal. So that's the home page, followed by the products. And you'll see that it starts with the product information. And then, of course, we can make the call. And that submits to the contact page and the modal. Right, so let's head back to the back end now. And let's go and have a look at setting up the modal for our menu. So let's add some content in there. So there is our modal. And what we'll do is we're just going to add in a div. And that div we're going to give a width of 90%. And then what we'll do is we'll head back to the modal. And let's go to the content styles of our modal, we're going to give it a background color of white. Right, and we're going to stack all the items um, uh, vertically. And then if we look at the modal style, in terms of width, we're going to make the width 90%. And what we'll also do is go to advanced and borders and give that a border of five. And what we'll also do is add a button. So for closing, we'll insert a close button, which will fit at the bottom of the screen. And just to make sure that that looks good, we'll go to um, the layout, uh, not layout, we'll go to size and spacing, and we'll give that a width of a hundred percent. So the button will fit across the bottom of the screen. We can now head back to mobile, content styles, make sure that everything is centered. And what we're also going to do is give the modal a bit of space, say 15 pixels all around. And now what we can do is go back to our div and make the width of that inner div 100%. And let's just give it some breathing space at the bottom. So now we have 20 pixels at the bottom. Now that we have this in place, we can set the trigger for our modal. And the modal trigger will be that final menu item. So head back to the primary uh, tab on mobile. And we go to trigger. And we'll say show when user clicks on an element. Select choose. And we're going to choose that element. So when the user chooses that element, this modal will display. And save. Now if we go and refresh our page. We head over to our menu item. There's our modal and close. So this is where we can create a unique user experience inside the modal. So instead of going with the traditional menu, what we can do, of course, is we can come in and uh, add a logo. Add an image. And head over to our image library, select our logo. And there we have the logo positioned on the page inside our div in the center. And now we can add some more content. So first we'll add a div. 
And that div we don't want to be, we do want it to be a sub div of the main div, that's correct. And we're going to give that a width of 100%. So it stretches full across. And now what we're going to do is duplicate that div. So instead of just going with the normal menu with the text and the drop downs, I can now add another image, for example. So head over to image and we're selling cups. So let's go and add another cup. So we've uploaded some cups and Let's maybe go with something a bit more interesting. So there we have a link to a, a more interesting cup. We'll just add some space under the logo. And now we have a, a cup. And now what we can do is add uh, some special uh, text in that. So what we can do is add some text and say maybe something like back to nature for this particular item. And what we'd like to do is apply that to the page, but it's at the bottom. So what we need to do now is set that text layout to, let's make that absolute. And you'll see that we also then need to go to that div and change that layout to relative to make sure that the item stays within that div. So we'll set that position to relative. And now we can set the position of that item. So we'll first head back here and just center the text in the middle and just see first, maybe that's what we can work with. Change the color there to white, change the font size, back to nature and let's head over to layout because maybe we want that to be off the bottom and So let's just drop that down a bit more. So there we have, we can position our back to nature on the page. Um, and just like we would style any other content on the website, we might want to give that a background color. And let's maybe do something like that. Head over to topography, change the line height. Make that a bit smaller and then just give it a bit of padding. So let's make that five all round. And we can also just give those borders a radius of five. So you can see you can apply all the same styling that you would to any other part of your website. And we have back to nature. Maybe this one we want to make a special. So let's add our image. And let's put the orange cup on sale. So maybe there what we want to do is do something a bit more creative. So what we'll do is we'll create a div within that div. And we'll make the background of that div red. Let's add some text and because it's on sale, let's make that text red, uh, the background red, let's make the text white and let's wrap that div. Let's give it some padding, a bit more padding and let's make the position absolute and let's just head over to the div and set that layout position to relative and now what we might want to do is rotate that div so that it fits on the corner at an angle so to do that head over to effects head over to transform add a transformation let's go with rotate and 45 let's make that see if that does it and then let's just get that to where we want it so maybe something maybe something along those lines let's increase the padding so that it fills the entire background div so size and spacing let's change that to maybe 50 all around and now what we'll do is we're going to move the position of this item so we can now head over to layout and on the left we'll go minus 
50 and let's head up to the top and let's make the top minus uh, a little bit less than 50 and to get an idea of where we are let's head over to that background div and then what we're going to do is head over to layout and go to overflow and visibility uh, visible to hidden so there we can see where it's fitted and now what we can do is we can just adjust the padding and the spacing to get that aligned in the top left hand corner so head back to our div advanced layout let's head back to size and spacing first and so let's go with a little bit less at the bottom maybe 30 and to the left and right we can go with a bit more so that should do it maybe drop that down to 20 so you can see we're getting it into the right position there and the text size we can go in and change so typography let's change that to um, 30 and then what we can do is just head back to layout and then just adjust the div and then the top right so there we we have our sale item and we can just so the, it might look something along those lines so there we have our sale item positioned and we'll just give it a little bit of space below the first one so let's maybe make that like that and then what we can do is come in with something a little that looks a little bit more traditional so under the last one we'll just add some spacing and then inside these divs will create something a little bit normal or standard in terms of look and feel so give that a background of navy blue add some text and in that text we could say about us and then let's change the color white is fine let's change the size and spacing let's make that 15 all round and maybe what we'll do is we'll center that so there we have the about us centered and one last thing to do is to change the font size so there we have the about us button and what we'll do is we'll just copy that last div instead of creating a new one and we'll change the background color so and maybe that will be contact us and then we'll head over to the div and add a link to that div so the first one was about so let's do a search here for about about us add that link and the last one was contact us and there we can add a link and there we'll look for contact right and so there we have our, our mobile menu complete for now so now what we can do is when the user comes along to our site and clicks on the menu they're now presented with a much bigger menu than they would have been as normal but now what you're going to notice is that it's great but um yeah it's not that easy to read so what we're going to do now is adjust that so that the modal will actually scroll on the screen so we can get to all the items so let's head back to oxygen 
and let's go and see how we are going to resolve that. To resolve the modal issue, we're heading out of oxygen and we're going to need to add a snippet, a PHP snippet to take care of that. As you can see, we don't have any uh, tools here to add a snippet. So we're going to add a quick new plugin, which is called Code Snippet. So we do a quick search for Code Snippet and then we're going to install. Here we go, Code Snippets, install now. So we'll install that and then we're going to add our code once that plugin is installed. Installed and activated, we'll now go and add a new snippet. We'll call our snippet modal and paste that snippet into the snippet window and we will save changes and activate. So with that done, now we need to head back to Oxygen. And inside Oxygen, head over to Main. Let's go and edit that with Oxygen. And what we also need to do is add some custom CSS to the custom CSS of our website. Oxygen loaded, let's head over to Manage Style Sheets. Let's add a style sheet. We're going to call it modal. And inside the modal, we're going to paste some CSS and we'll save that. So we've added the, uh, the um, script and we've added the CSS. Now what we're going to do is refresh. Now when I refresh, you'll see that my modal fits inside the screen and if I was on a mobile phone, I could scroll that up and activate the menu as needed. So what you'll notice though is that we can actually make the um, our menu a little bit bigger than what it is at the moment. So let's just do some fine tuning here. So head back to Oxygen and then what we're going to do is just go in and do a little bit of resizing. So let's head back to our breakpoint and we'll go down to the smaller screen size because that has a different text requirement. So there's the modal. Let's go back to structure, modal. And that text element there is really big. So what we're going to do is reduce that size. Sale looks fine. About us. Contact us. And then you'll see this really fits right at the bottom. So what we'd like to do then on our modal is add a little bit of spacing. There we go. So that'll just bump it up a bit so we can get to the button a lot nicer. And what we can also do then is just make sure on our mobile modal at the top of the screen. And we just make sure that that is, oops. So at the top of the screen, um, we can allow that to go to a little bit higher. So let's save. Now, sometimes the preview on your mobile device may not look the same as it does or as it will when viewed on the phone. So this is just a good indication. So we'll refresh. And now you'll see that when I move up, close, you can see I can get to the buttons, um, whereas previously I wasn't able to because the menu was in the way. So that's resolved itself and it looks like there's an issue here with some Z index but probably work on a mobile phone. But there you have, so now we've created a much nicer experience for our customer. What we can do in, in a similar way is we could also do the same thing with the form. So at the moment the form is going to be, or the form here, the contact would take you to the contact page. But what we could also do then is replace that 
in the same way that we created this modal, but create a modal with a feedback form so that the user would then complete the feedback form instead of going to the contact page. So that's just something that you can do. But this was just to give you an idea of what's possible when creating your quick link for a mobile device. What we can do is clean this up a little bit nicer. So maybe those are not the um, icons that you want to use, or they're too big. Now that you have a better idea of what it looks like on the screen, now it's really easy to come in and then maybe drop the size right down if you want something a little bit more elegant. Um, maybe drop down to 30. And then you might want to leave the icon for the menu a little bit bigger. We can save that. And now you'll see that that does look a lot better to have them a little bit smaller. And there's enough space around each item to click and then to head over to that section. If you wanted to, you could also create a second row on your menu if you wanted to do something like that. So if we look at our section here, there we have all the items that are pertaining to the menu. So what we could do is move things around. So just wrap that with a div. Let's close these. And then what we're going to do is move these items into that div. So we just slide them across. Right, make sure that the div is stacking horizontally. And also make sure that that div has a width of a hundred. So there we replicated. And now what we can do is add a new div. Maybe bring that to the top. And so if you wanted to have a, say, a sales message that you'd like to put out, now it is nice and easy. Set the percentage there of a hundred. Maybe adjust the size and spacing there to add maybe 15 padding all the way around. Make sure that our section is going to stack elements vertically and then inside that div now add some text and maybe you're having a sale. So once again, in the same way, you would now be able to and center. Let's just change the color. Maybe make that font size a bit bigger. Too big, maybe. And then reduce the padding a bit. So maybe down to five. So that might then link to a special sales page. But what's nice now is that when the user comes to your website, loads up the page, you can have that notification there. You could also replace that with, um, if you have a shopping site, you might want to put the basket total in there, also available um, through Oxygen in the WooCommerce plugin, where you could maybe display the total um, whatever information you want to do, you can then include in a second line. You could put a telephone number. It's really up to you. The nice thing is when it opens, you then have a much nicer interface that the user is exposed to when they're on a mobile device. A lot more engaging and intuitive and interactive than a standard menu. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, thank you for watching.